सो अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरी वन प्रेजेंट हियर टूडे माई नेम इज जन्नत पटेल आई एम एन इंजीनियर एट फ्रैपे एंड आई हैव बिन वर्किंग हियर फॉर टू ईयर्स नाउ टूडे आई बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द जर्नी ऑफ फ्रैपे एल एम एस ऐप आई इंट्रोड्यूस द ऐप टू यू गाइज एट द लास्ट कॉन्फ्रेंस विच वॉज द ऑनलाइन वन द ऐप वॉज देन कॉल्ड द फ्रैपे स्कूल ऐप बट इट वॉज एंड एक्चुअली फॉर स्कूल मैनेजमेंट it was indeed a learning management system and so it made sense for the name of the app to reflect what it actually is so we decided to rename the app from frappe school app to frappe lms app i'll give you a short recap now of why and how the app came into existence so it starts with the year 2020 a tough one for us all everything came to a standstill including a lot of essential services schools colleges and universities were all shut down the world of education moved online at this point india already had a good number of edtech startups have you heard of the kid named wolf gupta this kid was supposedly 9 to 13 years of age and after learning programming and ai concepts from a certain edtech platform got a job at google with a package in crores but if you look online you will never find a satisfactory answer about the existence of this kid most of these edtech platforms they have a very aggressive sales and marketing strategy these so called education focused startups in reality do not care about education at all they are just another set of fast growth chasers in today's capitalist world being responsible citizens all this affected us i'm sure it must have affected you too in some way and so we at frappe in collaboration with the foss united foundation resolved to do something about it answer this in a way we can we decided to start with mon school a learning platform that would publish courses on programming that are easy to learn and available without any cost so once this was decided <laughs> once this was decided we started looking online for open source learning management systems and the most popular result we found was moodle so we decided to check it out but our experience was not that good the ui was crowded with way too many elements and we were unable to add simple components without getting lost this was not the kind of lms we wanted at frappe we believe in first principles which means that just because there's a popular way to do something does not mean it is always the best we even wrote our own web framework and so we decided to build our own lms using the frappe framework by june 2021 the first version of the app was ready and so july 2021 we went live with mon school now parallelly when the app was being developed there were a lot of discussions going on at frappe about how there's a lack of good learning resources in the erp domain and how we need a learning platform for erp next our flagship product since the app was generic enough we decided to use the same app and launch frappe school a learning platform that would publish courses on erp next and its various modules this was all about last year so after renaming the app launching in beta with frappe school and mon school we wondered what next why does any software exist the simplest answer is it exists to ease your task but without a good ui and ux most softwares fail to achieve this we decided to build our own lms because we did not find any open source lms out there that's easy to use and provided a good experience since this was the factor that led to us creating the app we made this the guiding principle for the product ahead making an lms that's easy to use has a clean ui and provides the best user experience it can we decided to reiterate all of the screens of the app once again with this perspective being the focus the app went through a redesign phase 
And these are what the screens look like now. This is the All Courses page, which lists down all of the courses that are published on the platform. It's by default bifurcated into two sections, the live courses and the upcoming courses. The course details page, which mentions some important information about the course, like the course description, course outline, the number of reviews a course has received, etc. The lesson page where the main content of the course resides, a lesson can be in the form of text, video, quiz, etc. A quiz can be, uh, this is the quiz page. Users can select an option on the quiz and immediately verify if this is the correct answer or not. A question can have multiple correct answers too. A discussions page which appears below every lesson where enroll, users enroll for a course and the instructors can communicate with each other if they have any doubts or queries about the same. Now up until this point, the process of course creation was through the admin desk of the framework. Now, uh, looking at instances like Frappe School and Mon School, an organization may have multiple people creating courses at a time. And you may not want to provide desk access to everyone creating courses. So, we decided to have a new course creation workflow, which would allow users to create courses from the LMS portal itself. There's a setting through which you can enable this. You can either allow anyone or only users with course instructor role to create courses. And once this is enabled, on the dashboard, users will be able to see a courses created section, which would list down all the courses that that user has created. You can create a new course or edit an existing course from here itself. To create a new course, all you have to do is enter the basic information about the course and save it. Once a course is saved, you can add chapters to it. And once the chapter is saved, you can add lessons to the course. This is the screen through which you can add lessons. As I previously mentioned, a lesson can be in the form of text, video, quiz. All of these components can be added through this screen itself. Also, previously, to add these components like video and quiz, we had some special markdown syntax. This was too developer friendly and others used to find some issues adopting it for the first time. So we have simplified this with the current workflow and you can add just the ID of the video or the quiz that you want to add through the inputs in this field itself. We've maintained backward compatibility with the markdown syntax as well so you can still use that if you're now used to it. The page through which you can add the quiz all the configurations that were allowed through the desk are allowed through this page as well. Also, Frappe LMS app now has a website of its own. You can check it out at frappelms.com. All the features about the product are listed down on this page. If uh, you find any difficulty setting up your own LMS and get help, need help, then on the website, we now also have the documentation We've covered almost all the basics here. If you're not much of a reader and don't want to go through the documentation, then there's a course available about Frappe LMS on Frappe School. You can check out the videos in the course and get started with setting up your own LMS. So after set setting up LMS for Frappe School, Mon School, and a few other LMS instances for nonprofit organizations, it was clear to us that the app was generic enough to be used by any organization for setting up their own LMS, be it schools, universities, or an organization wanting to onboard its employees and train them. We decided to make this process even more easier and decided to launch Frappe LMS as a SaaS using the Frappe Cloud Marketplace that my colleague Hussein just talked about. You can check out details about the same on our website or the Frappe Cloud Marketplace website. A look at the road that we've planned ahead for us. A feature to have paid courses, users will have to pay for such courses to enroll for them. The next, now that we have course creation from the LMS portal, it also makes sense to have course moderation from the portal. Moderators would be allowed to review, edit, and publish courses from the portal itself. 
adding some more matrices to the progress tracking mechanisms that we have and provide a better progress percentage. Then we already have a user's dashboard, but we plan to have a global dashboard which would provide some important graphs and figures to all kinds of users on LMS. And last but not the least, our ultimate goal to provide you with an LMS that has an even better UI and UX. The app is open source since inception, available on GitHub. It's licensed under AGPL3, so you can contribute to the app in any way you like, be it code or creating issues. That is all from my side today. Thank you.